Okay, Patty Tolly Parish here, back to finish up the pencil cases. Um, I think you saw this. Here's where this one ended up. Um, I went back to some of the other ones this morning, and I thought they needed something lighter on there, so I outlined all the little red pop circles on this one and added some gesso little dots to the other three, and I'm letting those dry. This one I thought it had enough light colors in it and white space that I didn't need to do that. So um, now all I do is decide where this is going to end up. And I decided to put the peach on the flap and get rid of the green penis on the flap. Oops, let's see. I wanted this to show maybe. I should think this out a little bit more. See, that's almost lined up. Rats. Uh, let's see what I want to do here. I'd like for this to show, if possible. Will that work? Pull this up a little bit more, make it deeper. And... Maybe like that. So it would look like that on the back, and like that here. Yeah, I think that'll work. So what I do is I just, um, now remember, I know nothing about what I'm doing here. I'm just winging it. So I'm creasing this a little bit so I know where my marks are for when I turn it inside out. Um, and another thing I usually do now is like, trim it up and try to make it straight where it's not straight. Oh, I know. Such an exact science. I do have one of those little fabric roller things, but uh, that could be a wild mistake at this juncture of the process. This is at least a little slower, not so greasy. That's not right. This is a little bit humped right here. Get rid of my humps. And, ooh, this, this is a little crooked. Straighten this up a little bit. It's a little bit better. <laughs> I know, everybody's probably sweating bullets and screaming at the screen. Don't do it, that's not what you're supposed to do. Oh, well. I'm sure you're right. But, I just kind of make do with what I got in my head. <laughs> I know that's disturbing on many levels. But, hey, it's got me through 56 years without getting myself killed or locked up. So, you know, what the hell. I'm just going to trim this up a little bit. And this will, of course, be in the seam, so it won't make that much of a big deal. Then I'll probably round the corners after I stitch around there. So, let's see what I got. Alright, that's what we're going with. <laughs> Stand back. Here's where it gets crazy. I said I don't even remember how to turn a damn thing on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Got her. I think my sister-in-law was down here using this thing for something. She didn't screw me up. Don't need any help. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So I want that there. Do I want to pull this up a little bit? To there, maybe? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. So now I'm going to turn her inside out. Try to find my crease line again. And um, let me take a peek at my previous example. <laughs> See what I did there. Oh, 
oh, you know what? This is one of my first ones I made. My dumbass didn't even turn it inside out. <laughs> Just noticed that. Oh, you know why? Because I used that as part of some decorative stitching. That's what it was. But this one I turned inside out. Hmm. Let me have a little look-see what we got going on in here. Okay. And then this one. My Velcro is not sticking so good on this one. I'm not sure why. It's industrial strength. That's plenty big. Huh. I think I kind of like showing the stitching. Because then I can put the little fancy zigzag on there. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's go the other way. Yeah. Whoops. One more look. <laughs> I think I was trying to do a sew a wedding gown or something. <laughs> okay. I did do that there. There, 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 there. All right. We're going to roll. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is at this point now. Am I zigzaggy? How do I know that? Oh, yeah, here. Maybe I should do this on a little sample. <laughs> Let me grab this. What do you know? Growing. I'm growing up. I'm like a big girl now. I thought of trying to sample out before I hose up the works. Where's the hell? There we go. <laughs> oh, and my foot pedal. That always is a problem. Mojo was down here walking on it one day. Almost sewed the damn thing to my sleeve. Okay, a little closer to Mama. All right, stand back, people. Here we go. That's not bad. I don't know why this gets kind of munged up, though, and... and I don't know what's wrong with that. It's all, look at this, all goobered up in the bobbin. What is up with that? Anybody know? Lori Manetli. There's one. Oh, it's okay again. Who the hell knows? Okay, let me get my needle up. And. What we do here in the parish household is we just go for it. Uh, and whatever it is, is what it is. I think that's probably where I want to be. You know what? I should start down a little bit and reverse E first, right? Maybe. Down here. And go backwards first. How did I do that? I think it's this. Oh, it is. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, here we go. Oh, look at me go! And then a little reverse aroo here. Go with the button. Christ. Oh, that's not so pretty on the back. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab this side. And go backwards first. A couple stitches. Well, maybe one too many. Okay. <laughs> I can just 
see all you seamstresses biting your fingernails and hollering at the screen. <laughs> Bless your hearts, trying to help me. I know, Lord knows I need it. I haven't sewn other than my other pencil cases since seventh grade when I made an apron. <laughs> I wonder what ever happened to that thing. It was peach and white check gingham. Okay, now I'm going to do around the flap just some decorative stitching. So I should go this way. Think, girl, think. Don't be that stupid. Okay, I'm going to jump up to there. Back up a couple, right? Just a couple. Whoop! Forward! Okay, here we go. Where's my damn foot pedal? What the hell am I stepping on? Oh, it's backwards. This cord is, this table height and this cord length are just barely workable. Oh, shit! <laughs> Stop! Damn it! <laughs> oh, look what Mama did. I wonder if I can back up a stitch or two. Get them off the fabric. Crimenetlies. So I'm going to back up and turn this backwards. Get back on the fabric. There. Oh my god. I must apologize to whose gift this is. <laughs> oh! I didn't even touch the step, the thing. What the hell's happening now? I'm on some kind of autopilot number here. What in the world? See what I mean? I have no friggin' idea what's happening here. Stop! Good. Cooga mugga. Uh, put that down a little bit more. Ooh, Lord! Looks like it's on crack or something now. Back up a couple. Let's stop while I'm ahead. Oh my god. What the hell happened over here? I don't know. Daggone it. That looks like crap. Let's call it handmade and call it a day, shall we? We're lucky we got that far. <laughs> Without an injury or impalement or an emergency room visit. I am not kidding when I say what I say. <laughs> Oh, man, that really does look crappy. There's something wrong with my bobbin. If anybody knows, please tell me what the hell I'm doing. Wrong. Uh. Hmm, I don't know. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Well, we're kind of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Louisey. Let me see. Are these dry? Better hit these with a the heat gun a little bit. Get out the big gun so it doesn't take so long. I'll spare you the agony of this. Clip it out when I edit. Heat gun! Now, I feel like I should rip this out and since it's only on the face of that. It doesn't look too bad from the outside. We'll call that a design element right there. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, permanently. I really... Someone needs to stop me. <laughs> see what we got here. That away. Or a little this away. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. The ink drips kind of connect on all three places there. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
Although I like those colors better. Hmm, this is bending right there. That's probably not good for that 3D stuff to bend there. So let's go back to here. So I see both of those right there. Right about there. That's what I'm thinking. All right. This is all catty wampus over here. My dad used to always say that word. It kind of tickles me. I wonder how that, where the root of that word is. I can't imagine what that breaks down to in Latin. <laughs> uh, how bad is that? Let me have a st straight edge. Oh, that's not straight. That's a curvy one. Lord, that's how I probably cut it the first time. Apparently. Oh, look, there's my pencil line from where I, perhaps if I would have followed my pencil line, I wouldn't have this problem now. All right. Are you ready to watch this again? <laughs> Oh, God, love me. Okay. Notice I'm not talking much, I'm thinking. I noticed, especially in my last video, I am quite the finger tapper when I'm thinking, aren't I? Oh, God. It's funny what you catch yourself doing when you watch one of those back. <laughs> oh. Well, looking at it ain't getting her done. <laughs> Let's go. Let's dive right in, people. So, let's see, I want to come down a little bit so I can go backwards first, I think. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do or not, but that's how she's going to roll. And I don't know why this foot pedal's like in high gear all of a sudden. Jeez, it whiz. Hang on. And it's hanging by its, let me pull this closer, it's hanging by its side. Need a little teeny more slack in that puppy. All right, let's let's give her a go. Woo! Surely I must have changed some kind of an adjustment or something. Backwards. Yeah, that was a little more controlled. Oh, crap. Here we go again. Ugh. Okay. All right. I think there's definitely something wrong in the bobbin department. Oh, well. Perhaps by next Christmas I'll have that figured out. Try starting about there. Reversey. And then here we go. Okay. 
Yeah, there's something definitely not right happening with the bobbin. I don't know. I'll have to YouTube that, maybe. See if I can teach myself how to fix the air of my ways. Wouldn't that be a tremendous accomplishment? Oops. But, I give my point, myself points for trying. <laughs> Did I? Oh no, I'm good. Okay. Alright, so, here we go for this little number again. Where is that? Okay. I don't want to connect the two. <laughs> so I'm going to go here. Go back a couple. And now go forward. Ho! Who are you calling a ho? <laughs> okay. Down. I feel so fancy when I do this. <laughs> like I almost know what I'm doing. Oh hell, something happened there that didn't sound right. Oh god. Something is definitely askew. What the hell? Mm -mm -mm. I have no idea what's about to. What, 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 what? That way? What happened here? Sweet Moses. Is that supposed to go around there? Or is that for the bobbin? That's for the bobbin. Okay. I think. I think we're grinding to a halt here, which is really going to hack me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is there a 911 to call for this? What the hell is going on? Let's just plow through, see what happens. Probably jam the damn thing up for good. Hmm. Oh my. Oh, I think we did it now. Ah, crap. That ain't even moving. I don't want to tear my fabric, which I just did. Okay, how am I going to do this? Well, totally screwing up the works. Now, why did that happen? I was going along so smooth. Oh, no. You should see the wad underneath the gear. I'm just going to cut her loose. Oh, sweet Jesus. How do I get in there? Is it under here? Oh, look. <laughs> Found you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we got quite a cluster going on in here. Oh, for the Lord's sake. Why can't this be easier on me? I'm a good person. <laughs> oh, my. That is quite... <laughs> How embarrassing. the hell is that one? I have no idea what's happening now. Oh, I think these open up. Oh, look. Oh, another part fell out. And another one. Ah! Hi, oh, Jesus. Lord of mercy. And I'm running a little low on the bobbin. I wonder if that could be my problem. Oh, now must I dig out the manual? How bad did I screw this up? Actually, not bad, because apparently all the mishap happened in the machine. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. So, maybe if I get this in there and finish up that little one, 
Would that be a wise thing to do, pray tell? I don't know what the hell I'm doing in the first place. I should probably hand sew these. <laughs> okay, well, I got that thread, but why is that yanking it like that? Hmm. I hope I'm not leaning in so you see my head, because my hair, I look like Yahoo serious. I decided to jump right in this morning pre-hairdo. Oh, good Lord. What do we do here? Well, I'm guessing that would go. How did I do this? I did her once. I can do her again. Oh, my. <laughs> well, you saw it here first, people. When I say do not try this at home, I am so serious. <laughs> Take my glasses off so I can see. I think that went up here. Didn't it? And then up here, maybe? Does that make sense? Through there? No, probably not. Oh, my. Get the damn manual. <laughs> darn, da, darn, darn, darn. I hate that. Okay. I should really pause this, but... Knowing your sewing machine, sewing basics. <laughs> Probably should have looked into that. Okay, what the hell's happening here? <laughs> oh, there's a big X right there on the bobbin. What does that mean? Okay, here we go. What the hell am I doing? Okay. Oh, it doesn't show this many parts out of the machine. <laughs> Great. So I think this goes in first. Somehow, somewhere, for some reason. Oh my. I probably should turn it off. What do you say? Don't want to capture that on video. I believe she looks like she goes right about there. Hmm. Or not. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Oh. Well, if I didn't believe it myself, I wouldn't believe it myself unless I saw it. Looky there. I got it in there. Okay, now what do I do with this? Put the bobbin in. Okay, hold that like that. Oh, that doesn't look right. Come out of there, little bobbin. Ay. Okay, so it's showing this on that side. And what is the lovely model doing with her hand there? Oh, she's pulling. Hang on. Thread goes that way. Does this move? No. <laughs> Not supposed to. Well, that doesn't look possible to have that... Okay, I did it before. Concentrate. You can do it again. That goes like that. And that goes where? In that little hole, I guess. I went out there? Oh my. Okay. Oh, I was right. That does go down like that. Oh, my sincere apologies, viewers. 
Well, the bomb case by the latch fully insert the bomb case into the shuttle race. What the hell is a shuttle race? And then release the latch. <laughs> bobbin case finger and notch. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Does this go on next? That appears. On. Oh my. Now I got the first piece discombobulated. Okay, that one actually snapped. That sounded pretty good. Now, which way does this thing go in there, though? There's a tab up there. Oh, okay, that goes down there. Okay. I think that's how that has to go. Because of that little notch. Like that, maybe? Perhaps? Let's see, will these little levers close now? Uh, no. That would be, that would be no. Hmm. Oh, that one did. Oh, there they go. Okay. Are you in place? Oh. Damn Wheaties. <laughs> Oh, Lord of mercy. So which way does that go? That appears to go up. I don't remember this being this hard the first time. You'd think the second time would be uh, a little more experienced. Oh, there we go. That felt like it's seated. Okay. Hmm. All right, now let's see if I can pull that up through. Don't I just, what the hell is that? Oh, that's the bobbin, okay. Don't I just do this and go down and it's supposed to grab it and pull it up? Did it? Oh, that doesn't look good. It went all the way around. I'm just pulling it off the thread. And yet, it's tangled again. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. What say? <laughs> we back burner the sewing machine till Dave gets home from the game. Good Lord have mercy. Let's finish up the one I was able to get sort of sewed. <laughs> oh, honestly. Honestly, honestly, honestly. You know, I don't know what to tell you people. Oh, great. <laughs> Mumsy. Hello? Uh, well, I guess insane. He's at the game. He left the tailgate uh, about 8 o'clock, I guess. <laughs> hey, I'm recording a video. Can I call you back? Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Asking if my husband is sane or insane. Wondering if he went to the game or not. Insane. Okay, now I'm going to look for a little tub of embellishments. See if I can find a little something-something to put on, on here. Oh, jeez. Need something flat and small and lightweight, sort of. Oh, maybe one of these gears from Finnabar. They're kind of cool. Finnabar. Bar. Bear. Bar. Bear, I think. I took one of her classes at the Queen's Inc. It's really fun. I love her products and stuff, too. Really cool stuff, and a nice, really nice girl. Very talented. That's kind of cool. I like that. 
have some other ones. Those are either too big or too plain. Those keys are too thick. Oops. Oh, hell, I just dumped this whole thing of these clips. Those are kind of cool, too, actually. Okay. Too big. Too small. Actually, maybe I can put that on with that. Make a little... Oh, that's cute. That's a little pen of Tim Holtz that says stuff on it. Kind of like that. Um, too plain. Alright, I think I can work with that. What the hell am I going to put on the other ones, though, is the question. I have some smaller flat keys in here, too, I think. And I have more pins. What do you say? Keepsakes, tidbits, findings, snippets, vintage, ideas, elements, mementos, stuff, fragile secrets, thoughts, trinkets, treasures. Ah, a round one. A little dragonfly. Butterfly. Those little keys. All right, let me pick something out of there. Put this out of the way. Get my crystal accents. Put them on there with. And now, let's see, let's make a decision here. Dragonfly, eh, key, I always like keys. That one's got a little sticky back thing to it, but I take take that off and, and put all crystal accents on there and with that stick right there. Adds a little white there, that's kind of cool, but I really like this gear. I mean this, whatever that is. All those little pieces. Looks like the inside of a watch. And of course, I gotta glue it in the center. If I do, I gotta go over top of this a little bit, which shouldn't be a problem. I might be able to pick a little bit of that off. Act. Oh, you know what? I could. Oh no, I can't sew it. It's only one hole. If I had a brad, I could put it in there, but I don't think I have any. So, do I put two on? Hmm. One there, one in the middle of that, maybe. This. Or silver. Nope, nope, that's going to be too hard to glue on that. Too small. This is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right there. That's what we're going with. And I think right about there ought to do her. This is almost always clogged every time I go to use it. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you, I am a walking calamity today, people. Oh, I'm in that lane. Oh, Lord, I do wonder. God bless Dave. Mm. I don't want too much. I don't want too little. I want just the right amount. That's probably too much. Oh, why shouldn't it be? Is that in the middle? That goes right there, I think. It's about the middle. And it's squeezing out the top, but it's clear. I'm going to wipe it off and on my shirt. Trying to clean up some of the stuff squidging out the sides. And I'm just going to hold that in place for a second. And I may put, where'd that pin go? Did I put it back in the box? Mm, crap. You know, some days you just shouldn't, you shouldn't get out of bed. You definitely shouldn't be working with machinery. Oh, where, oh it's right on here, for Pete's sakes. 
It's camouflaged. All right, I'm going to hold that for another couple seconds. Wasn't it an interesting video today? Hi, Lord. It is a puzzle to me. I'm telling you. So, now oh, you're working down there, a little adornment. I'm going to let that sit and grab some Velcro pieces. You know, sometimes this Velcro really works great, and then sometimes not so much. And I don't know why. Let's see, what do I have in here? Oh! Fabric Fusion Permanent Dry Cleanable Fabric Adhesive. I forgot about that. Maybe I'll use that. Maybe I'll use that. Oh, maybe I'll use that under the sticky of the Velcro. Maybe. Instead of trusting the Velcro glue. Sticky Back Ultramate. Low profile fastener. Heavy duty. These little bits say heavy duty. This says general purpose. Hmm. I have to put two or three of these on here, I think. That's kind of cute. Do I want to put it on here somewhere? Stuff, stuff, stuff. Over there it kind of shows up better. So I let it just dangle. Maybe go this way so you can read it says stuff. Maybe dangle it off corner. I don't know. Jury's still out on the stuff. Pin. Oh, I'm looking at this machine. Whoa. That's a mystery. I wonder if I can see while this dries, see what this does when this goes... is not I don't think it's going where it's supposed to go in there it's just pulling it off of here and it went down oh there we go oh 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 <laughs> hold on is it a miracle oh I got it back ah! hey, you little rascal all right maybe I will try to finish that other one up and finish that bobbin and we'll have to go through that whole thing all right I'm going to Okay, let's do this. Let me set this to the side to dry. Aside, where are you going? There we go. Put that right there. Move my little bits out of the way. Blue. Crystal accents. Never say die, people. <laughs> Come here, you little rascal. All right. Where was I? Before I was so rudely interrupted. Actually, it looks like I can pick up right where I left off without too much of a debacle, I think. That's what we're going to hope for. Watch a sucker jam right again on me. Oh. Oh. So I'm just going to go straight and hope for the best. Probably should turn it on. Seems to work a lot better when the power's to it. All right, stand back, people. Here we go. Oh, look at me go. Get 
down there. Whipping around like a pro! <laughs> oh god, I even tickle myself. Goes right to there. And a little reversey. Good enough. Let's see, is it tangled up and snarled up again? Oh, no! Oh, maybe, see, maybe that was a good thing. Maybe it was. And maybe it wasn't. I don't know. This is gnarled up, boy, I'm telling you. I might put a little crystal accent dot at the end of each one of these little <laughs> stitches that's open. Hey, that's probably not a bad idea, actually. Now you're thinking, girl. Okay. Number two. <laughs> Come hell or high water. Bye, jiggities. I will get these babies done. Okay. Yeah, I think some uh, little crystal accents on the ends may be uh, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Dragonfly, that's kind of cute. Kind of cute. These would take, I do these when I do my, um, those uh, panels on the clay board where I bubble up the glazes, the um, silks glazes on them. And I put these on there. And I just kind of flood it with crystal accents, and it it's clear, but I don't, I don't fabric. I don't think that would. I think those are out of the running. Dragonfly, little white key's kind of cute. I think I'll put that on there. Try to get rid of this crystal accents again. See, we're not. It's not a total loss, people. I hate for something to outsmart me. It's not that hard to do. But I just don't like it. Alright. Just a little touch of this is what I'm afraid of on this one. Because... Man, it's hard to hold like that. Okay. Somewhere around the middle-ish. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. I love wearing these shirts that I've got all torn up and painted up and glued up. Because it's just my... I'm wearing an inky binky. And it's handy. It's always there. Unless, of course, it's a night when I'm crafting in the nude. Doesn't happen that much. Especially not in the winter. <laughs> Unless I'm having a hot flash. And then anything goes. I take no prisoners at that point. Okay. That one's not too bad. It seems to be adhering pretty well. I'm going to set this one aside. Dare I even try to sew a third one? Yes, I do. Dare. <laughs> Yes, I do. Okay, this one, I like this one. I kind of like all of them, but I really like that one. For some reason, it speaks to me. It's probably that turquoise shiny ink. I don't like that light green and that turquoise with that red pop, too. So, I'm thinking with this kind of being even there, that maybe should be the flap. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see how that works for a flap. That's kind of good, huh? I don't line those up more when I think about it. I mean, when I'm doing it, you know. I don't pre-think a whole lot of things. More of a fly by the seat of my britches kind of gal. Hmm. Nope, the other way. 
that's the way this one's gonna go just like this I think I like the brightness of the white parts on the flap too actually and hopefully because it's gessoed I mean yeah that clear gesso will keep it from getting really crappy over time Right about in that department, I think, is where we're going to go. Oh. Oh, okay. No, I almost, I just almost had a heart attack there. I'll tell you why. Um, let's see if I can show you on one of these that I did inside out and then pulled through. When I did that, um, I had to cut off the flap to allow for you know, where it came all the way out to this edge of the seam. And I forgot to do that on the first one, then I had to go back and correct it, and then I remembered that. But doing them, I just had a panic thinking, oh, I didn't cut those back, but I'm doing it on the outside, so it doesn't really matter. Somebody's texting me. Oh, uh, what's my Joann's coupon? I wonder if they carry those uh, porcelain ornaments. I got 40 coming in the mail. I should probably just wait. Today, only 30% off your regular price purchase. Whatever. Okay. Let's see what I got here. This is a little raggedy Ann. You can see my pencil mark right there, which means I didn't cut it just right. Right there. And I'm looking on the sides. Ooh, this looks a little rough. A little rough in here. Oh yeah, uh, that's really kind of catty wampus. We're getting some snow here today. First snow of the season. That's what my mom was referring to. Asking me if Dave was sane or insane, if he actually went to the game he was supposed to go to. And, bless his little heart, he's there. Okay. <laughs> Call me crazy. But I'm going in for another one. Now I know I'm going to run out of my bobbin thread pretty soon, so... I'm going to try not to let that be a shock to my system when it happens. <laughs> See, that's dangling in the air from here. That's not going to work. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. She's running smoother yet. So... A minute. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it and then I'll trim it later if I need to. All right, here goes nothing, people. And I do mean nothing. <laughs> a little backward stitch. A little forward. Come on, baby. Be more string in the bobbin than mama thinks. Look at that, working like a charm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Let me do another one before we run out. And then I'll cut the video off and spare you guys for the rest. Uh-oh. Oops, a little too far. Ah. Oh, that one got a little tangled. Why does it do that? 
any information on this topic would be greatly appreciated. Uh-oh. Oh, dang me. Hmm. So is it out of bobbin thread or... Did I get it? Oh, rats. I think she's out. <laughs> you know what that means. Oh, how do I fill that? I gotta put it up here. I gotta take it out of this. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, remember how that goes. Don't be a total maroon. Oh, yeah, it's out. Okay. All right. Now, I do think... Oh, that means i got to thread it again. Sweet Moses. And I thought this opens up so I can see how that happens. Does it not? We'll worry about that later. <laughs> oh, I might just let you hang in with me during this process for... I know what might be some giggles. Damn book. Threading the machine. Winding the bobbin. Okay, it goes there. All right. That means I gotta pull it out of here. Crap. Take me half an hour to get it through the damn needle again. Oh no, I bought some of those little thingies. Threaders or whatever they're called. So, this goes here. This goes around that little thingy. No, through here. Wait, under and through there. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. One, two, three. Pretension disc, bobbin, winder, shaft, and bobbin. Okay, I think that's the bobbin, winder, winder, shaft. Oh, look, it went right on there. What do you know? And that... Did I put... Oh, wait a minute. I think I had to put that up through the hole, didn't I? It's all coming back to me. Hang on. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I think so. Hang on. Did I? No. Use bottles. Obviously, there's signs of the machine. Use by other models will not work properly. Pull up the spool pin as far as possible. Spool pin? Is that this? I guess that's it. Oh, crap. Mm. Off the spool pin as far as possible. Pass the end of the thread through the hole in the bobbin from the inside. What the hell's happening? Okay, through the end of the bobbin from the inside. Oh, that was a good save because I was about to. Lord knows what I was about to do. I can't even guess myself. Put the bottom of the bottom one shaft, slide the bottom liner shaft to the right. Slide it to the right. Oh, okay. Christ. Mm -mm -mm. Lordy, lordy. Put the bobbin on the bottom one or shaft, slide the bottom one or bottom, turn the bobbin clockwise by hand until the spring on the shaft slides into the groove of the bobbin. I think it's already there. Yeah, it's already there. Okay. Turn it on. Hold the end of the thread. Gently press the control foot to wind the thread around the bobbin a few times, then stop the machine. Here we go. Oh! Okay. Cut this. Oh, look at me go. Press from the bottom, scenes full of swings. Okay. Oh, Lordy. Here we go. Freaking hell, what happened? Um, hmm. You know, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
Was I maybe supposed to hold on to that? No, it was already in there. Oh, shit, that one there. Oh, sorry. Said the S word. Hey, Lord, give me strength. <laughs> oh, looks like a bigger hole. Maybe I'll go for that one. There we go, right in. What do you know? Sweet Mary. Come here, baby. Come to Mama. Clock. Slide it to the right. Turn it clockwise. Got that. Get that off of there. Go a few times. I'm going to do a few more than a few times. And then cut this. Do I think it's in there enough now? I'm going to trust in the directions again. Let's see what happens. And then fill her up. Where's my foot pedal? There we go. Oh, it's really lopsided. Maybe that's part of my problem. Am I supposed to help guide it up and down? Hey, look at her go. All right, I'm going to stop because I actually I think it just went wrong. So push it back, pull it off. Cut that puppy. Yeah, there's a little bit outside of the... Hey, jeez, Louise. There's a little loop there that I don't think is probably a good idea. Well, how the hell far down is it? I'm not going to take too much more off of here, I can tell you that. Well, you know what? At this point, she is what she is. Now, I know this is probably a bad thing to do. I know. You seamstresses are probably <laughs> having a seizure. <laughs> Don't mean to laugh at you, but just saying. Okay, now how the hell did I do this thing again? I put this in here. Oh, no, no, no. I had to put it on that other thing first. Oh, see, this is where it gets me in trouble. There we go. I got it off. Okay. Put it in here first. So, it was held like this. Went in there. Went through there. I should just do this like 20 times in one day. Then maybe it would stick in my brain. There's that. And, uh-oh. What the hell happened there? Oh, mama. Okay, I think that's right. I think, I think, that might be too long. It's like asking for trouble right there. Can't see with my glasses, I can't see without them. I just got them. Hey, Lord. That in there? <laughs> okay. Oh, shh. Now I gotta do this again. So this goes. I'm thinking down. How do I get it down there? Didn't it go behind something? Oh, man. Hang on. Doesn't really show you how to do it. Thread guide, thread guide, thread guide. Well, I ain't a whole lot of information. Does it go under that? Is that? It would seem as though it should. <laughs> you know, I. Oh, good lord! It doesn't say that this comes off, but I don't know how you could do this without it coming off. Can you? I thought I had it off before. Uh oh. Oh mercy, hang on. You'd think that would be outlined, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh 
Ai. I must apologize. Over an hour. And I did about five minutes worth of work. Ay, 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 ay. So this goes. In there. And then, how does it go up there? Guide me hands to get this some bitch moving. Huh. I remember when I did the last time. It seemed like it was like an easy thing to do. Maybe I should have it off. <laughs> Ay. Lord, Lord, Lord. And you would think. Oh, is that maybe, like, you take... Nope, that's not it either. That's got to go behind that, I'm sure, doesn't it? All right, let's just... Let's give that a try, shall we? I think that goes... Oh. It can't be this difficult. It just cannot be. Can it? No, that doesn't go there because there's no hole for the thread. Just shows it coming down here, going around here, going up there. But it's supposed to hook on something. I'll turn the light on because I can't see. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I see what it's supposed to hook on. But she ain't a hooking. How do I get that to do that? Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. I think I got it. And then I think it goes through. How did that work before? Oh, mercy. Okay, that goes somehow underneath of here. Oh, look at you. Oh, mercy, mercy. Thank you, Lord. Come on. I'm sure this is very entertaining for you guys. I hope to God you got something better to do than to watch me do this. Although, I like my viewers. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, girly. Let me get you. There we go. <sighs> Mercy. Mer oh, did I go the wrong way? Is that right? Oh, no. That's, I think that's right. Oh, wait a minute, what's it say? Ah, hang on. While holding the thread, pull it between the tension discs. Did I do that? Mm. Holding the thread, pull it between the tension discs. It might be too late for that now. No? Well, where are you going in there, thread? You know, I think I see a piece in there from a previous incident. Is that right? Oh. Oh, no, I don't think it's right. Hang on. Guide the thread through the thread take-up lever. 
So good. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, one way to find out. <laughs> Fire this puppy up. Oh, oh I got to get the bobbin up there. The bobbin thread up. Please work, please work, please. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, come on. Work with me. Oh, I think I got it. Did I get it? Ha! Yay! Oh. We're back in business. I think. Get those underneath of there. Oh, yeah. Tell me this is easier than this. <laughs> good thing I got a good sense of humor. Find this damn thing out in the snowbank somewhere pretty soon. Okay. Wait till the girls get a load of these babies. <laughs> okay. Lordy, here we go. Let me see where I am with this one. That one's right there. Okay. So we plow on. Ready? Where's my foot pedal? Oh, God, it's over under Mojo's bed. Ugh. And we're off. Look at her go. Fancy move. Oh, that's a little bit too close to the edge. Oh, that's not good. Huh. Well, we're going to have to make a little modification as I... Oh, damn. That's probably the wrong thing to do. Why is it not going where... Oy. Come on, baby. Work with me. That's better. This one's all... Talk about Caddy Wampus. I don't know what the hell happened back there. Must have been my fancy move. Couldn't keep up with myself. I think I got too close to the edge is what I did. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Mm. Uh-oh. That didn't feel good. Something stalled there when I did that. Let's see, we got a little jammer upper again. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, shoot, I didn't go backwards there. Oh, that's not good. I am going to have to crystal accent that baby. That's probably not a bad idea for the whole works, honestly. Hey, I know there's got to be an easier way. Mm -hmm. All right, let's trim that one up. Get this out of the way. A couple people ask me, oh, do you sell those? Do you sell those? <laughs> oh, I can't even give them away. Um, no, I haven't sold these, um, and I think we all know why. Just saying. I do like this one, though. Ain't she cute? <laughs> Turn this monster off for a minute. What am I going to put on you, honey? A little dragonfly for you? Oh, I should have left out my stuff. Gear, dragonfly. Let's go with the dragonfly too. Oh, that's kind of hollow on the back. I wonder if that's going to work. Mm. Well, we're about to find out. Now, how did that jam up already? There we go. Fill those little petals up with this stuff. 
Is I calling this crystal accents? I think it's glossy accents. It just hit me. Um, ew, well, that squidged out of there. Luckily, it is crystal clear. Maybe that's why I said crystal. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit aside, set it on the keyboard. I'll go back to the first one and I'll wrap this up because we're over an hour and 16 minutes. Good Lord. Hopefully I'll cut a bunch of that out. Look at all this crap. That's not right. I know that means that's gonna fall apart. Might just glue the whole damn works, I don't know. Okay, but my, my glue is holding from a little washer. It doesn't function. It's just decorative. But I like it. So, let's see. Heavy we do to Velcro. I wonder if I just put... I should probably put one right underneath of that so you can push on that to get it a good grip. But it's going to need three, I think. Oh, damn. I'm going to run out of these, I think. And I got one there. I wonder what happened to the other piece. Oh. And I'm missing one of the other ones. And I got two of those. Oh, crap. You know. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So let's do... You know what? I'm going to take this one. Because it's there. And I'm going to put that right on that embellishment. Stick that on there good. And then I'll take a fuzzy one from over here. And attach it right there. Like it should be. And then fold that over where it's supposed to fold. And then push that bad boy down. I don't know if that's going to hold right away or not. Oh, it seems that it is. Okay. Well, I'll do that two more times. And just kind of space them out. About there. Oh. I don't want to touch that and get it on. Oh, great. Here we go. Get it unsticky. Put you right there. Put you right here or thereabouts. I wonder where I got these. Hobby Lobby, I think. Hang on. They are kind of heavy duty. I hope the glue is heavy duty. That's the part that I got to get off of there. Yeah, the glue is super duper on my fingers. Let's see how it works out on here. All right, that goes there. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do these and line them up, but that's how I do them. I'm not a measurer. Ha! I bet that's a shocker, too. Okay, I'm just going to take the corners and just... Oh, Lord, I should have left it alone. No, that's a little... Well, that's all right. Just round the corner a little bit. Got a stitch going off the end. Oh, Lord. Lord, Lord. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Other than adding crystal accents to where I see the stitches coming loose already, um... I'm going to call this one done. <laughs> Velcro in place seems to be holding. Little polka dotted with ink inside. And 
Viola. One pencil case. Okay, people, pray for me. I'm going in to do another one. Uh, yeah, I am going to go in and do another one. So, um, I'll upload this, assuming I don't sew myself in, later on this afternoon. So, sorry for all the, the boo-boos. <laughs> another how not to do something video. I'm going to be famous for those. Maybe it's there's a market for that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. Um, so, see you on the other side. Doodaloo!